Hello and welcome back to Nativity News. I'm Jemima the journalist bringing you the latest and greatest news from Israel. I'm here back in Bethlehem. Um, two years later we like to do a follow-on story and uh, here we have an esteemed guest that's turned up. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Belshazzar the wise man. Hell, and what does that mean wise man? What do you normally do? Well, of course I look for stars. This is my star journal here. It says wander on the front and uh, yes, yeah, spend my days watching the skies and watching the stars go by. And uh, can you tell us why are you here in Bethlehem? Well, we, uh, we heard, we got told there was going to be a humongous star that was going to shine brighter than any star ever seen in the whole history of the world. So I knew I needed to watch it and uh, once we found it, we found out that there would be a king that was going to be born. King of the world, in fact. So you followed this star? Yes, yes, followed the star, walked day and night. And uh, we found them, we found them all right. We found a lady, young lady called Mary, and we found a young man called Joseph, and we found a little tot called Jesus. Jesus, well, and tell us, what was he like? Well, he was, he was kind, and he was fun, and, uh, he was just like any friend you would ever really want, you know? Wow, and did you bring him any, any gifts? Oh, well, of course we did. What sort of wise man would I be if I didn't turn up without a gift? Gosh, turned up with gold. I turned up with gold, my friends, they turned up with myrrh and frankincense. That's gold, myrrh and frankincense. Wow, that's pretty expensive gifts. He must be a pretty special boy. Well, he's, he's king of the world, of course, yes, yes. Well, I'm glad that you travelled here, and uh, yes. are you travelling back the same way? Well, so this is the problem, right? There's this, uh, what do I call him, nasty man called Herod, and um, he seems to think he's king of the world, but now I've met Jesus, I know that Herod is not king of the world. And uh, he told us to stop by and tell him where Jesus is, but I fear that we'd put Jesus at risk if we did that. Mm. So we're gonna go back a different way and avoid this man called Herod. Well, thank you, that seems like good advice. Mm. Thank you very much, I see you've got your binoculars there. Well, of course, I, I, I take them everywhere, everywhere with me. Well, thank you so much, Belsazar, for coming on and uh, mm. em embracing us and uh, talking us to us today. Yeah. So, um, thank you guys, it's been wonderful to have you here. I will take you back to the studio now.